So um, we're going to start with Rick. Come up here. He's got some good stories. Yeah, come on, brother. Check, check. Did anyone here out at the Riverwalk two weeks ago when Isaac gave his life story? Oh, man, that was amazing. <clears throat> that night, um, me and a friend of mine were there from about 6 o'clock on, just going up and down the board, the Riverwalk, praying for people, saw lots of healings, um, took some videos of some people. Sometimes we don't because it's just a little, uh, you know, it just doesn't seem appropriate. It gets really personal. Um, but uh, it was almost 9 o'clock on my way to the uh, amphitheater. Said goodbye to my friend and I'm walking alone, but I still have my big camera stuff on me. And these two girls approached me, probably in their early 20s. We saw them earlier, but they were far off. And uh, we're headed right for each other. And they said, hey, are you a photographer? And uh, I'm like, well, I do some photography. Primarily, I've been doing like movies most of my life. And um, like, you know, video stuff. And they said, oh, well, what have, you been, what have you been shooting? Like, is there something going on here? I said, oh, yeah, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I'm, uh, I said, wait, I, we've come out with all this equipment. We're shooting video of miracles. And they're like, a miracle happened here? I said, actually, about four of them. So these two girls look at each other like, okay, really? I said, no, serious. I said, when, back when Jesus was walking on the earth, he performed miracles and, and healings and all that stuff. Well, the, the spirit that's in him is now inside of me. So when I lay hands on the sick, the same thing happens. She said, oh, so you're like a healer guy. I said, well, the Holy Spirit heals. I just like bring it. So they looked a little like, uh, like they really weren't sure. So I I'm showed them my camera. You know, I showed them some video clips. And uh, now the clips I had were all young people because there's a lot of young people out there. Um, but they were still undeniable. And one of them approached me. She got real close up in my face, kind of. She's like, but she was really sincere. She's like, does it, tell me the truth, does it work on old people? <laughs> and I could tell she was really sincere about it. I said, well, you know, in my mind, I'm going through like, oh, that person was old. Of course it works on old people. <laughs> so I'm like, absolutely. So she, she turned me around. She goes, see that lady way over there by the playground with all those the other, other ladies and the kids? I said, yeah. She goes, that's my mom, Rosa. She can't, she shuffles. She can't really move her knees. They hurt too bad now. And she's not really that old. I'm like, okay. <laughs> she goes, will it work on her? I said, absolutely. I said, come on. So we, we were walking over there, and um, well, first she said, will you go over there and just tell her that, tell her that Key and her friend sent you. She did, I don't know why she wanted to go with me at first, but so I walked over there, um, approached her, and she had a younger sister with her. Um, I started to talk to her, explain who I was and that her daughter sent me, and before I could even get that out, her daughter was right behind me. She's like, Mom, he's going to fix your knees. He's the healer guy. <laughs> a good one, though, a Jesus one. Her mom's like, what? And so her mom's younger daughter, kind of like a guardian, she's like, well, you know, she's been through a lot. I'm like, no, it, it's okay. I'll just, I'll just pray for her. It'll be fine. I said, you'll see. I really had this. We already seen like four or five healings that day. It was like, I just like knew it. I, I just can't even explain it. So I said, I'll just take your hand. It's fine. So I, I, I prayed for her. And um, by this time, we got like people on the benches watching. Some guy has got his daughter on this little merry ground. He keeps looking. You know, they just get a little bit of uh, attention, which is awesome. And uh, so I prayed for her. I said, you know, try it out. You get, when you step out, that's a step out in faith. So she, she lifted her leg. She, lift, she bent her knee, which I thought was really cool because she wasn't doing that earlier. And her friend's like, so? She's like, I, um, honestly, I don't feel anything. It doesn't, it doesn't really hurt. So she's moving like really little by little. So I took her hand. I said, come on, Rosa, let's go for a walk in the park. So we started walking and Oh, man, it was so beautiful. I'm almost crying just holding her hand. I felt like I was, like, dancing with my mom at a reception or something. And I said, look at all these people. They're all seeing how much God loves you right now. Because there was, like, a bunch of people there. It was, nothing's on video, but it was beautiful. <laughs> so it was, it was awesome.